In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a thumbnail using pix art. What I'm doing here is I want to pick out the picture that I want to use for my thumbnail background. Um, then I'm going to go into the cropping and we're going to change the ratio so that it can fit your YouTube video once you upload it, which is going to be 16 by 9. That will fit all YouTube necessities. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and I'm going to add a photo. Um, I kind of had some different ideas that I want to do for the thumbnail. So right here I'm kind of just trying to decide which photo that I want to use. And then you'll see throughout this process right here I'm just going to crop the photo that I selected for the thumbnail. Um, so I'm just going to let you watch kind of what I do here. You can kind of see what I'm doing. It's kind of self-explanatory. I chose these three photos for the thumbnail just because they would be something that someone would want to see is interesting to people um, so that's why I chose those three of like highlighting factors of the video that, that I reacted to and then next you'll see what I'm about to do is I'm about to look for a background um, you're gonna want to find a background that kind of pops and also goes with the coloring of your thumbnail in order for me to find the background, I would have to go into stickers, which is what you see here. It's a great tool to take advantage of because it has so many different things on there that you can use for your thumbnail. Here I am under the tab effects with the sticker and I'm kind of just playing around with the color to see which one I like best to go with the thumbnail. I end up choosing blue so what you see me here is I'm going to make sure that the background is going to fit onto the screen by stretching it using the stretch tools, the four dots on each side. Once I get the background to fit onto my photo, I'm going to go under the tabs, shadow. And I'm just going to give it like a little shadow to this picture right here. Um, you'll see I'm kind of playing with the blur and the opacity. The opacity tool is also something great to use because it controls the transparency of the image that you're messing around with. That's definitely another tool that you can use to your advantage. Next, you'll see me use the eraser tool that's at the top of the screen. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to erase the blue off of me so that you'll be able to see me clearly. Uh, I'm just kind of precisely trying to edge it up. Once I have everything to my liking, I'm going to hit apply and then I'm going to hit over to the text tool. And then I'm just going to write in the caption that I want to be on this thumbnail.
in this portion you'll see me just messing around with the tools that are under the text this tool right here you can edit how close you want the letters to be um how far away the lining you want it to be me personally i love using the shadow tool um it just kind of gives you another depth to like the image or whatever you're messing around with Here you'll see me going in editing the color of the text. I try to find like a color that kind of pops that is already included into the thumbnail already. So you'll see me using the finder tool to find a color that's already popping out of this thumbnail. Here you'll see me editing the text and just pushing return so that the text can be on top of each other and I can just put in that little spaces right there. Things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into stickers and then I'm going to go to the top, the search bar, and I want to type in emoji stickers. Here you'll see me just scrolling through the emojis trying to find the shock face that I feel like looks more aesthetically pleasing. Um, they have some different ones that you can choose from but I use this one just to fill in that empty space that was right there. I try to add more color and fill up most of the empty spaces in my thumbnail but without trying to put too much stuff on there where it's taken away from the details. Back in the stickers and I'll be going to the search bar and I'll be looking for a text box. I like to include those in my thumbnails as well if you looked on my page. You see I usually include a text box saying how I feel about the video or whatever I'm reacting to. Here I'm just scrolling until I find one that I like. I click on that one and then I go ahead and I adjust it onto the thumbnail. Right here I'm kind of just messing around with the text box trying to see where I want to put it. I even tried flipping it so that I can fit it right there but I don't know it just wasn't doing it for me. So I went back into stickers and I kind of was looking for another text box that would be easier to fit in that space. The reason I kept this portion of the video in was because I want y'all to realize that you kind of just have to play around with these features that are on these apps until you find something that you like. At the bottom of the stickers tabs, there's a tab that says collections. Here's where you can save all of the stickers that you use on a daily basis. Um, as you can see, all you have to do is just go to a sticker and hold it down and it should give you the option to save. Once I get the text box that I like, I'm just going to be moving it around so that I can fit everything where it needs to go. I'll use the opacity tool for the emoji just to make it blend in with the background a little bit better. Here you see me using the text tool. I'm going to put a question so that I can insert it into the text box sticker. Here I'm just going back in, I'm mixing with the title a little bit more, trying to add the shadows and colors to it. 
so i'm basically done i'm going to go back into my collection under stickers and then i'm going to use the camera sticker just going to pin it onto the screen Here, I'm basically done I hit apply um, just a little tip once you hit apply after doing like a sticker eraser um, you can't go back after doing it or it's gonna take the whole thing away I ended up not using a sticker but here you'll see that I'll save the video by using the tool at the top